Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's get some energy for Aquarius. That's too many spirits. Just let me see clearly the messages for Aquarius. For Aquarius. Oh, triumph and success. That's beautiful. Nice. The last few readings have been warnings for people. So this is nice. This is coming up as triumph and success already. That's beautiful. Alright, so we go that way. Light. Wow. Love and light. I like it. I guess we'll take these. Ooh, a house. Nice. I kind of feel like you might be getting some blessings or gifts from the universe. Hmm. Occupation is in reverse. Maybe you're going to change careers. There's a house involved here. Let's see what else. Community. So maybe you're well known in your community. Mm, you need to take some rest and rejuvenate here. It's in reverse. And wisdom. Wow, you've learned a few things over some time here. And what do we have for reverse here? Oh, stand your ground is in reverse. So, on the bottom of the deck. So, looks like you might need to stand up for yourself regarding something here. Material harvest. You're going to have to stand your ground when it comes to some money here. Let's see. Let's do some tarot. Hmm. Shady ass shit behind a wedding here. Or a marriage. Somebody stabbing you in the back. Maybe you're feeling defeated by this marriage. Maybe there's a third party. Could just be a celebration. Let's see, what do we get for Aquarius? Hmm. Someone from the past. Maybe you're going towards them. Hmm. In reverse. Hmm. Maybe you had a falling out when it came to a love relationship here. Okay, so you might be watching a Capricorn, but that's crossing right now. So I kind of feel like it's taboo. It's forbidden. It might be a secret. It's a choice in love. Let's see, what do we got here? Hmm, you're no longer waiting for your ships to come in. Regarding this love, are you taking action? What's going on here? Hmm, are you done your healing? Or you haven't done your healing? There needs to be more healing here regarding something. Or maybe that's why you're moving forward, is to heal something with this person. Yeah, because you're not happy. What you're doing right now, where you're at right now, you're not happy. Have some regrets. Why your person does. Their wish fulfillment. They've got all nine cups. They're just waiting for that one cup. Is it yours? <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this one. All right. Past. Oh, a bit of truth needs to be spoken to someone from your past. Maybe there was some fib or lie. Okay, that seems to be crossing. You haven't walked away and you... Something to do with walking away in a broken heart. 
and you're moving towards this person that maybe did this to you or you did this to them. And that is what is crossing here on the chariot. And that kind of tells me you haven't moved forward yet or this is thoughts you're doing, you're planning to do this, to move forward. It's to heal this love though. And I kind of feel like it's possible they moved on before you got there. Or they might have even said as much. Knight of Wands is in reverse. So it kind of tells me that this is non-committal. And this is kind of what I'm getting from this card. Is that maybe you're ready to commit to this love. There might have been competition, chaos, or conflict surrounding this, but you're going to still go forward. Sometimes the Eight of Wands can mean a proposal, too. What's the Devil and the Page of Swords? Ah. Somebody's not using their intuition regarding something here. What's the devil and the page of swords? Can I get one more card? Thank you. Mm. Might need to change your perspective about something here. Or your person does. You might think that they're in the dark here, but... No, I kind of feel like this high priestess is you. You didn't use your intuition on something here. Maybe you got caught watching somebody that was a temptation. I don't know if it resonates. Sorry, I'm, I'm just the reader, so. <laughs> okay, something has to close out this whole cycle, and it's not. It is in the crossing position on this choice for love. You haven't done this yet, and this has to be done in order to move forward, I feel. What else with the world and lovers? King of Cups, you're feeling love. You want to love. What is this Three of Wands? What is that, please, Spirit? Why is that here? What is the Three of Wands about, please, Spirit? Okay, so we have it crossing wanting to rush in towards this person that you're not waiting for anymore you're gonna jump on your motorbike and get the fuck out of there but i don't feel you're doing that yet it's still crossing it's an indecision anytime that anything comes crossing you haven't made a decision on it yet you haven't done the action behind it you thought it it's something in your mind but you haven't put any action behind it you haven't decided anything. You haven't made up your mind about it. What's this Knight of Swords and Three of Wands, please? Spirit, can I get one more card for that, please? Oh, yeah. You're not stuck anymore. I kind of feel like you were stuck before. Too much thinking about something. Always thinking, always thinking, always thinking, and not enough action. And I kind of feel like that because your action card is crossing, right? What's the hermit in reverse? Hmm. You haven't healed a third party situation yet. It might be from this person that you went towards. Maybe they had already moved on without you. Let's see. What's the Hermit and the Three of Pentacles, please? Can I get one more card there, please? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So you might have been this way before and not so much now. And I kind of feel like that has to do with someone else. 
something that's before these cards come out. I kind of feel like it's this way in the past up until lately. Now it's this way. So somebody's, uh, you've had to pay somebody out if you're not very happy about it. Might have been somebody at work. You might have worked with this person. Maybe they got you fired. What's the regret? What's the ten? Or no, the nine of swords, sorry. What's the nine of swords spirit? What's the nine of swords? Mm. Okay, so there's some regret because there is some truth that needs to be spoken to someone from the past, okay? You got a love offer. You also got ten of pentacles by, by moving forward. So what are you afraid of? Why aren't you doing it? Tell the truth. The truth will set you free. <laughs> it will set you free to abundance. It's going to set you free to love. A new loving beginning. This is something from the divine the ace of cups this is something that is coming from the universe four of wands that's the marriage card or moving card and you're not moving you aren't moving forward Aquarius Talk is cheap. It is safe for you to love. It says it right here. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the biggest energy or the highest energy of all, which is love. <laughs> so, very soon, it's not going to be right away. You need to do some healing first. You should heal before you come forward. That's a confirmation for something. <laughs> so I kind of feel like it's going to be in a month or so. So it's not right away. It's not very soon. It's not like a couple weeks, but more like a month or so. Maybe even October. And we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I kind of feel like it's this person you have in mind. Ah, calling in your soulmate, okay? So this is something that maybe you need to do. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. So call in your soulmate. We have gotten to know each other and it's in reverse. So I don't feel like you know this person very good. Like you've probably known them for years, but more like an acquaintance. Maybe you don't really know, know them. We have finances and career in reverse. Maybe you have gotten fired or you had to quit your job or something happened here. You've learned a lot from something here. You're not taking the rest and rejuvenation, rejuvenation that you need. There's something that comes to light about a house. You might want to look into that if, if you have a house. You might want to look into some of the paperwork. That's for somebody. Somebody specific. All right, can I get three more cards and we'll wrap up this Aquarius read? 
All right, what do we got? Oh, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So perhaps you have a family here. Maybe your children are a bit older. We have a retreat in reverse. And what does it say on here? It's time to disconnect from the world. So it isn't time to do that. I feel like it's time to make some decisions here. One more card. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Separation in reverse, meaning you need to go to this person, maybe fix something and decide from there. Maybe they help you heal. Make the effort. It's in reverse. You're not making the effort, man. So, I don't know if that's for you, Aquarius, or your person, but somebody needs to make some effort towards somebody. If it's the Divine Feminine, she doesn't chase anyone, just saying, okay? And if you're the Divine Masculine, then it's going to be you that needs to go to your Divine Feminine, okay? So, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate each and every one of you that are in my tribe. I have got that request list for celebrity reads. If you're interested in that, you can just write a comment down below and I will add it to my ever-growing list <laughs> of requests for celebrity reads. All right. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see ya. All right, later.